Uh, Coyote, thanks for talking to us today. How's your summer going? Yeah, yeah, it's going all right. Not too bad. Um, it's been quite busy, hectic, obviously, with um, moving and getting married, and then obviously started pre season a week ago. So we're starting to feel a bit more settled now and uh, looking forward to the start of the season. How are you finding Rotherham since you move up there? Was that uh, a part of what attracted you to sign for the club, your familiarity with the area? For you, there's a little bit of uh, going back to your roots as well because you get another chance to play with uh, Daniel Nardiello. Uh, yeah, me and I spent a bit of time together at um, Barnsley. He came on loan during my time there. Uh, we didn't get to play together that much, I don't think, obviously. But hopefully um, we'll be able to do a bit more of, of that uh, this time around. What do you think your ambitions of the team are this season? Um, is promotion a possibility? And uh, what would you say to Rotherham fans looking forward to making to you making your debut? What can they expect from you? Your um, your last season, of course, with Colchester, wound up with you being voted as uh, the official club player of the year. So, pretty good note to end on. It's safe to say, from what I remember of uh, of the awards evening, that it was a little bit of a surprise to you that award. Yeah, definitely. You know, I wasn't expecting that at all. So, um, you know, but nevertheless, um, it was very, very much appreciated. And uh, you know, I can't, I can't thank you enough. Thank you fans enough for voting for me. Do you have any other fond memories of your time from uh, Western Homes Community Stadium? Watching you play for the club last season, um, I mean, what what stood out to me most of the time was the the work ethic you put in uh, on a pitch on a weekly basis is uh, is really quite impressive. Some fans were critical at times of a lack of goals. How would you react to that? It 
it, it always strikes me as kind of uh, funny when people bring this up about you, about the lack of goals, because obviously fans of one other club will remember you scoring one of the biggest goals in their club's history. Goal for Barnsley, is that up among your sort of best goals of your career? Um, yeah, I think it probably has to be, you know, just for the, the magnitude of the goal and goal and what it meant. And, you know, obviously it throws us into uh, the FA Cup semi final and the start of the season. I think anyone would have thought uh, Barnsley would have been in the FA Cup semi final, let alone beat Liverpool and Chelsea on the way. So, uh, yeah, definitely it would have to be up there. It was a crazy year that year for the FA Cup. There were a lot of big upsets in it. Um, were there, there must have been kind of a a dream feeling about the victory over Chelsea and a real sense that you could have gone on to win it, maybe? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, when you, when you get that far in the competition, and like you said, you, you, you beat the likes of Liverpool and Chelsea, you do start to, you know, believe that maybe this is going to be the year for you. But unfortunately, you know, we, we, we fell at the semi-final stage. But, you know, that doesn't, doesn't take anything away from the fantastic run that we had. And like you said, that I think, up, you know, it, Yeah, absolutely. Um, back to the present day, and Rotherham now is your sixth team, I think, as a uh, as a footballing professional. That's not a lot by uh, any stretch these days. But um, could you see Rotherham being the club that you you look to finish your career with? How's pre-season going so far? Are you feeling like you're getting back into the swing of it ahead of some uh, pre-season friendlies? Do you know what kind of a role you're going to be playing in that game? Can you tell us if you'll be uh, starting? Or? Um, no, we, we haven't we haven't, you know, touched on anything like that yet. We've got another, another hard week of pre-season to go. I don't think the match will be known with teams until sort of the Saturday. So we've just got to get through this week and then take, take the games as they come. Obviously with you, uh, Danny Nardiello and Alex Ravel, there's quite a strong striking group there already. There's been quite a few rumours about... Um, Matt Tubbs being linked to the team as well. What would that be like? Yeah, that'd be brilliant. You know, I'm a firm believer of you know if it's the players going to help the team, then you know I'm, I'm all for it. You know, um, competition is always good for players. It brings out the best in people, and at the end of the day, whoever the manager brings in, we're all going to be um, we're all fighting for the same cause. So if it helps rather than get to where they want to be, then I'm all for it. Okay, I just want to ask you a couple of uh, quick one-line questions to sort of wrap the interview up. Um, we've sort of touched on this already, but what's your favourite goal as a professional? <laughs> favourite goal? Um, yeah, it's probably hard to look past, you know, the, the goal against Chelsea for Barnsley, you know, just the luck for for everything that is this for and the magnitude of the goal, you know, it's so hard to look past that, to be honest. Do you have a favourite game that you've played in? Have you got a favourite ground you've played at? Um, a favourite Either ground. as an away or as a home player, if you like. Um, I enjoy playing it everywhere, really. I mean, like I said, it's without sounding repetitive. Um, to play at Liverpool, you know, at Anfield and win, that was amazing. And we obviously got to play at Wembley uh, with Cheltenham. played at the Millennium Stadium where we got promoted. And then I played at some... Uh, some, some good stadiums with uh, well, when I got called up, when I did, you know, I've seen some good stadiums in 
Yeah. What about a favourite football video game? Uh, probably, I haven't played for a while, but probably Pro Evolution or something. <laughs> Excellent I'm choice. Either that or football. Do you have a Premier League prediction for this season? If we gave you a tenner to put on one club? Uh, I'd go... Man U. Good shout. And the young club. Good shout. Something we have in common. Um, and finally, are you going to be watching anything particular at the Olympics? Um, just probably keep my eye out for everything. Obviously, I like, the, uh, I like the, to watch the sprints, the 100 metres, 200 metres, and you know, the relays, and obviously probably keep an eye on the football as well, and then just anything else that sort of catches Okay, great. Well, Coyote, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to the Armchair Pundits. Uh, all the best for pre-season and the regular season, and we look forward to following Rotherham's progress.